In this video, we're going to cover the use of the jewelry vault and the library. Uh, and basically, there are just two different uh, options that we have for managing our files. We know that we can go to PDM, save, you know, open or import, you know, files, you know, directly here from this interface. Uh, but what I would like to show you is how to use the jewelry vault in the library to do this in a more organized way. Have a uh, basically have a centralized place where you can store all your models uh, for yourself, or if you have a company where there's a group of designers that use the same libraries or the same components or projects, uh, it's very easy to set up the jewelry vault in the library in a common server folder, and then let everyone else. Uh, within your company or group access the same folders. So it makes a really convenient, you know, way to, to use, you know, your models. So let's take a look at this. When we click uh, Jewelry Vault, uh, it opens up this panel. And here we see, you know, the folders that I have in there. So I have a folder for projects. I have a folder for the Rhino Go Electrosize files. And any other folders that you place within your vault will be shown here. Uh, I'm going to go into projects. And we have 2009 and 2010. Those are different folders that I've created. Uh, if we click, for example, 2010, we can see our models that we have in there. Notice that these are complete models. And that is what you use the vault for. Store your finished models that you are done with. And these are complete pieces that you can use uh, for later uh, modifications or uh, reconstruction or anything. For example, you know, here if I select this one, you know, as we can see, it's an oval file. We get a preview of it over here. Uh, if there's any notes stored within the file, it will show them here. So we know this is a basic chant for an oval or cabochon uh, setting. Uh, we can insert it as a block or a group or an object. Uh, we can open or insert. Just remember, if you open it, it's going to close whatever you already have going on over here. If you insert it, it just inserts the model in there. Uh, so let's right now let me select that you know that one file, and I'm going to click open, and we have the model now inside of here, and we can go ahead and do any modifications, any anything we want to that model. We can add stones, we can do pave, we can do whatever we want. And after we're done, we can choose to save it, you know, or do whatever it is we need to do with that one. So remember, your jewelry vault is for using your finished models that you can then reuse uh, and edit at a later time. Now let's take a look at the library. It works kind of in the same way, but notice that I have, you know, different types of components in here basket, bezels, heads. Uh, if I pick shanks, for example, I get, you know, I got four different shanks already saved in here. And uh, the nice thing about this, these are, these are the parametric shanks that are built with the uh, Rhino Gold uh, Ring Builder, which means these are, you know, can be changed on the fly. So I can pick, for example, this one here. I'm going to open. It wants to close this one, so I'll go ahead and say no to saving changes. So I get my shank over here now. And we can see that this is one of the Rhino Gold shanks. And what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to, yeah, that I need to change that. So I'm going to select it over here in the parametric browse in the Explorer and double click. And I get the options for changing and editing the properties. So for example, maybe I just need to go to the top and uh, make it wider. There. Maybe I need to change the size. Maybe it needs to be seven and a half now. So I just made, you know, whatever corrections or modifications I need and I can click OK. And, you know, and I can keep going. So it's very convenient to have a, you know, a vault with finished models or a, and a library with all your parts and components that you can use uh, to, you know, combine and put together, you know, uh, many rings. Now, uh, how does all of this work? You're probably asking yourself, where exactly are these models?
being stored? Where are they put away? How do you define that folder? It's very simple. What you do is you go to TDM, user profile. And right here in the user profile, it allows you to pick where you want those folders to be. The vault path, Rhino Gold in my C drive, Rhino Gold storage, vault. And the library path is in the Rhino Gold storage library. Now, if I, if I open up, uh, I'm going to go ahead and click OK here. If I open up the Windows Explorer, just to quickly show you, here's uh, my local disk C already selected. And if we go down to Rhino Gold Storage, which is the folder that I created, there we have my library and with all my different uh, components within the library. And here's my vault with my projects. You know, and any folders, any objects that I place within these uh, folders, I'll be able to access them through the Jewelry Vault or the library. So if, these, if this folder was in the server, everyone within my group or company will be able to access the same libraries and the same vault uh, as I have, which is very, very nice and very convenient.